Welcome back to Dragoonie's Bites. Today, we'll look at one of those classic Italian desserts that are super simple to make, but boast a creamy and luxurious texture. It's panna cotta, of course. For me, it's a little piece of heaven and it's perfect for any occasion, be it a fancy dinner or just a treat for myself. So first, let's soak for gelatin sheets in a cold water and set them aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's place a saucepan on the stove and to it we'll add 300 ml of heavy cream, 200 ml full fat milk, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 60 grams of sugar and a pinch of salt. Turn on the stove to a medium-high heat and keep stirring as everything heats up. Here we do need to be careful that our creamy mixture doesn't go over 81 degrees Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, you can go by eye. Once small bubbles begin to form around the edges and throughout the surface, this means that our mixture is about 81 degrees. So it's time to take it off the stove. Squeeze the gelatin sheets well and put them into the saucepan. Mix well so the gelatin melts and incorporates into the mixture. Now we need to fill up the cups where our panna cotta will chill and fur. For easier pouring, I suggest you transfer your creamy mixture to a heat-proof pitcher. Divide the mixture equally between four cups. Mine were around 100 ml each. If you see that there are any bubbles present on the surface, just take a spoon and scrape them off. Cover each cup with a plastic wrap so that it touches the surface of the panna cotta. With this method, we prevent any unwanted odors or bits reaching our pristine dessert. It will also prevent skin from forming on top. Take your filled cups and place them in a the fridge for at least 4 hours, better yet, overnight. After they've been chilled, it's time to take them out of the mold. This might be a bit of a tricky part, but nothing you can't handle. Best way to get them out of the cups is to place the cups halfway into the warm water for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now take it out. Place a plate over a cup and turn it over. Jiggle a cup a bit and the panna cotta should fall out easily. If you see that even after 20 or 30 seconds the panna cotta doesn't want to come out of the cup, just place it in the warm water for another 10 seconds and it should pop out easily. Now, if you leave it too long in the warm water, it might have melted a bit and you will have a little milky pool around it when you turn it over. That's okay, it's still gonna be very delicious. As we have our panna cotta on the plate, it's time to cover it with your favorite fruit sauce, jam, honey, well, any sauce that you really like on sweet things. And enjoy it, since it's super smooth and jiggly. Do comment down below how yours turned out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more delicious bites from my kitchen. And until next time, bye bye!